Hi. Facebook land. <laughs> okay. You know how you, um, there's something that you know you're supposed to do and uh, you wait till the last minute to do it? All right. Well, that's been me. This is the last possible second. Um, I have been wanting to make a confession, <laughs> so to speak, to all of you, all of my Facebook people and all of my swimmer people. Um, about something that I am Okay, I think it's back on again. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm here to uh, well, it's even, it's just really hard for me to talk about, but I am here because um, I have something that I'm fearful of and I have set out to tackle it. And it feels weird to talk about it because when I talk about it, um, people say things like, oh, huh, they look at me funny. Really? You feel weird about that? Hmm, that's kind of funny. Or then they have advice. Well, you should try doing this and try doing that. And maybe you should just go to here or there. And I think, mm, maybe. <laughs> uh, when I hear people comment on it, well, there were students in the pool this weekend and they were talking about uh, what it's like for them to talk about their fear in water to other people. And the comments that they were making sounded exactly like the things that I hear when I tell people my fear, which is, I am uncomfortable dancing. Um, so there it is. So you have your thought about that. <laughs> I don't know if you're uncomfortable dancing or not. Um, put me in the water and I move as beautifully and gracefully and wonderfully as a dancer. Alone in my kitchen, um, I can dance. But public places, um, places where you're supposed to know how to dance, I can't be with myself and it's kind of torturous and I have been wanting to deal with this. So um, I've taken dance classes over the years and never felt like a dancer. I can do the steps, um, but I don't feel like a dancer. To me, to be a dancer means to um, be connected and in tune with myself and myself and music and have those two be a seamless um, intersection, right? Um, that it isn't this mental task that I must hang on to all of the parts and be worried that I'm 12 years old and feeling foolish and um, all these things that are up in my head. It should be something that comes down from my heart, which is how swimming works too. I was with my swimmer tonight, that's why I've got my wet hair sitting out here. Um, and she said, this was amazing because I could just move how I wanted to move. I felt safe the whole time. I could do whatever I wanted. It didn't matter where I was. It was connected and it was easy. And um, I knew each of the steps. And that's what I want for my dancing to feel like. So the reason why this is a last second thing is because tomorrow night, Monday, is my second dance class. I've started another one. I tried it. It said it was for beginners. I had high hopes. I um, went and gave it a shot and um, left in tears. <laughs> there were some things that worked, but many of it didn't work. And um, but after having a good week hanging out with my students and reminding them um, what it takes to be a swimmer, I am more in tune with taking those lessons back with me to this class. It's not a class for people who are afraid. I have to bring that on for myself. And um, so I have to give myself permission to do only the things that are fun for me and to sit out on the things that don't feel fun for me, that feel too fast or too complicated or I'm not ready for. And this will feel better. 
Um, I don't have to keep up with the class. I only have to do the things that are connected and easy for me. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. That's my plan. I um, will let you know how it goes. Um, it's eight weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, six weeks class. Um, that let's see if I can create myself into a dancer um, in a class that is really made for people who already know how to dance. <laughs> um, but it's beginning a certain style of dance. And I'm going to look for the dancer in me um, in that. And um, I'm going to take my students with me. I'm going to take your braveness with me. So um, I'd love for you to cheer me on, and um, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, that's my secret confession. <laughs> Have a good night.